Hey y'all, Matt with Infrared Outdoor out here at the range today to talk about ballistics on the RH50R, TH60C, TH50C, and so forth. Um, even across those different models, all the settings and the way it works can be pretty much the same. So we're gonna go through what those settings are, how to input them, and then we'll take some shots here at distance. All right, so we've already got this scope zeroed. Um, we like where it's at, we know we're dialed in. So now to access the ballistics function, we're going to long press the menu button, and then we're gonna scroll down to the ballistic calculation icon, select that. We wanna turn ballistic calculation on. Right now I'm gonna use profile one, but you can save multiple profiles. We can go to parameter setting. So from here you can see just basic data that any calculator is gonna to need to give you your holdover at various distances. So you wanna use your ballistic coefficient. We're gonna go with the G1 profile. Be sure to put in your bullet weight. For this, we're shooting a six Creed. Uh, this is a Hornady factory ammo. Bullet weight's 108. Muzzle velocity, I've already chronoed this previously. I know I'm at 3,000 feet per second. Uh, I know my scope height is two and a quarter inches over bore. So we're zeroed at 50. And then I have our uh, weather conditions already set. So once all that is saved, just long press menu. Do you want to keep these settings? We're going to say yes. We've saved those. We come back to the main screen. Now we're ready to start ranging and taking those longer shots. Okay, now that we have all of our ballistic settings input, we're ready to range these targets and see what the calculation is. To do that, you're going to short press the up button. You'll now see where a range reads out at the top, and it should also give you an MOA reading. So right now I'm going to range this first set of targets. And we're right at 300 yards. That's gonna be 1.87 MOA. As you can see in the screen here, the red X is gonna be your holdover point. So that's where we wanna hold center mass on the target and that's where our impact should end up. All right, so as you can see there, range this target at 429 yards. It's 4.82 MOA, kind of hold over. Impact, 430 yards, pretty easy.